guys, welcome to Time Out Show. It's your girl Shirley here. If you're new here, welcome. Join the gang. Grab a seat, grab some popcorn. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me. And yes, I know I'm looking cute or whatever. Yes, I'm about to spill the tea. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Oma Beauty Trip and Tooth Powder and I'll be giving you guys my thoughts and first impressions and what I love about it, what I don't love about it, and everything in between. But I know you guys came here to, you know, hear the tea about this. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you guys go. I'm just gonna let you guys keep on watching. I hope you guys enjoy watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so let's get straight into it. As you can see, I've already done my base, my eyebrows, and my foundation are already done and i just wanted to kind of i just wanted to speed this up a bit so you know skip all the you know irrelevant parts the parts we were not here for so since we're going to be trying out the setting powder i thought it'd be good to pair with another one of Oma Beauty's products so i decided to go for the concealer so this is the stay work brightening concealer i got it in the shade brown sugar t2 this has been around for ever um so it's not really new but I thought that it would be, you know, cool to see how they work together. I tried to get a shade that wasn't too light. This looks like my skin tone, I think. So let's put this on and see how we feel. It does look like a small bottle. So just for comparison's sake, um, this is my Tarte Shape Concealer, which is a 10ml bottle. And this is a 5ml bottle. Um, so this is essentially double the size of this. I'm not 100% sure what the prices for these two are at the moment, but I will either leave them on screen or put them in the description box for you guys to see that. But I wasn't expecting it to be this small. To be honest, I wasn't really paying attention to the size of the concealer when I bought it. I just bought it, so that's on me. <laughs> So this shade definitely isn't as bright as my typical under eye concealers, but I'm not mad at it. I don't think. I just I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Oh, actually, I forgot I need to conceal the rest of my face. gone into the details of the concealer again because like i said it's not really a new product well it is new to me but it's not really a new product um i'm sure there's thousands of reviews on this product um out there already so it blends out like a dream though so I'm really glad about that I know that the concealer isn't like meant to be the star of the show, but um, guys, how come this concealer isn't more hyped about? Because the finish is looking, I haven't even blended out the other side of my face, but it is looking good. It looks so nice. Okay, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. I'm just gonna finish blending off the other side of my face off camera and we'll get into it. Okay, so my blush is on, my bronzer is on, and I'm ready to set my face. Guys, 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 listen. It's been a long time since I was excited about a powder and I'm not even excited about what the powder claims to do. I'm excited about the packaging of the powder. It is, this is innovation, like Oma oh Beauty, you deserve a round of applause because I was like, you guys have changed the game. You guys have set a bar. I don't want to see anyone else bring out loose powders without this packaging. Hopefully it actually works the way it's supposed to work. But like, just in case some of you guys actually haven't seen what I'm talking about, I'm going to stop rambling and actually show you what it is. So this is what the packaging looks like. I believe it comes in four shades. So this is available in four shades. I have the second to lighter shade here, which is the shade Honey. So there's one shade lighter, which is the shade Light. And there's actually two shades darker, which are, are rich, rich Tan and Deep. I tried to go with Honey because I figured that I get more use out of my 
kind of under eye kind of brightening powders and I do my all the face powders because I just don't tend to I just don't tend to use like my Oliver face powder that much but guys <sighs> so this retails for $29.50 which is um roughly about 24 pounds I got this on philunique.com I'm just gonna read a bit about what it's supposed to do and then I'm gonna open it up I haven't opened it up guys I haven't opened it up yet and i am so excited so this is the tripping smooth powder and i don't know if you guys can really see that the i don't know but the packaging of this and the name of the product it's just it's just spot on like it's just spot on so this is a powder beyond smooth it's tripping smooth this ultra fine featherweight powder creates a soft focus effect to optically minimize, <laughs> to optically min minimize fine lines and pores, giving zero flashback plus ultimate shine control. The unique controlled dose packaging makes powder overload a thing of the past. Ideal as a primer, baking powder, setting powder, or finishing powder. Okay, all right, all right. I know that with this release, they also came out with a tripping smooth primer. I didn't pick that up mainly because I wasn't as fascinated with it. I have a lot of primers that I use and love currently so if I do however really enjoy this I'll probably be tempted to pick up the primer as well and I'll do like a little mini review on my Instagram or TikTok or something like that but probably not a whole video for it so ooh, let's, let's just let's just see guys okay so this is what it looks like very nice before i really get into like the powder and everything i thought i'd show you guys the side by side of this versus the laura mercier powder so this is the laura mercier powder as you can see like without even checking the grammage you're definitely getting a lot more in the laura mercier powder than you are in the Emma beauty powder so the laura mercier powder this is the 29 gram version and this is the 10 gram version i know you're gonna say yes yeah, there's different sizes for the laura mercier powder so it really depends but as a whole, I'm actually surprised because this is a lot more expensive than this. So this this costs about £26 for 10 grams. And the Laura Mercier powder costs £32 for 29 grams, which essentially means per gram, this is £2.60 per gram, or this is like, what, £1.1 per gram. So I'm, I can't believe that I'm holding a powder that's actually um, more expensive than the Laura Mercier powder. Initially, when I purchased it, I was like, £26, that's not that bad kind of expecting it to be like a similar size to this but it's not so um that was fun to find out when i opened this up i'm not really sure why that's the price point for this though maybe when i try out see why they put the price that high up but i mean beauty isn't really a high-end isn't really like a high-end brand necessarily they do have one or two products that are high-end in terms of the prices but this price point for this amount of product slightly taking the mic i think but you know what we're not gonna judge all i'm saying is i better love this i just better okay but this however is the you know the amazing part so this is what it looks like on the inside essentially no spill like it's a no spill zone i'm so clumsy i'm always dropping my powders literally i feel like you know I feel like at least 10% of my powders just go to waste because I've dropped the bottle and I've spilled it on the floor and then I'm like, well, whatever. But this is, I can't, this packaging is a game changer. I'm hoping that the product itself is also a game changer because that will seal the deal for me. Um, so on the, on the, <laughs> I was just about to drop it again. So it, see what I mean? So on the, um, packaging it tells you how to open it up so you just twist the bottom and I really want to twist this and get some powder up for you guys to see so you just twist the bottom and um the powder comes out I don't know if you guys saw that happen but just do a little twist twisty and you get powder in there so the powder doesn't really smell like much which is great it's really like the color of the powder as well it's in the shade honey if 
I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, yeah, so let's, let's see. Okay, so just, you know, lightly dusting some powder on my under eyes. I'm just using that to set my eyelids as well. So my first impressions of this powder is definitely a really fine powder. Like, it's one of those ones that I think if you accidentally put way too much on your face, you would be able to get away with it. However, I would say it's one of those, it's not one of those powders that corrects your errors. So if like, let's say your concealer was patchy before you put the powder on, your concealer, you will, it will use, you will still look patchy, right? You will still look bad. I'm only saying that because on this side, because I had my concealer on for a bit of time, I hadn't set it. Um, you know, obviously the concealer started to like settle a bit and I just forgot to really look at it. So when I set my under eye, that has kind of stayed that way. But whereas here, when I fixed, I fixed the concealer before setting it, it looks a whole lot better. I would say like straight off the bat, I definitely prefer this to the Huda Beauty powder. However, I don't know if I prefer it over my Laura Mercier powder. I was really hoping that, you know, based on the price point alone, I would actually just love it a whole lot more than my Laura Mercier powder, but... It has this, cause, cause the powder is so like, well, light. It has this almost grainy look to it. So if you decided to bake with this powder, I don't know. Like it looks nice, but like I'm not, it, it looks nice, it really does look really good. I'm just not like immediately wowed by like the blurring effect or like the smoothing effect or anything like i don't think this is the most smooth my face has looked um there's a lot going on around my nose area i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm just gonna put that up to i'm just gonna say that's that's a me issue not uh the powder i'm gonna finish off my makeup and then we'll see how this is looking so far it's good but if i'm gonna be paying this much for this product I'm looking for a wow. So I'm hoping that by the end of when I finally put my makeup together, um, I'm gonna get wow. So I'm gonna go off camera and um, apply some bronzer, do my lashes, do my eye makeup, and I will be right back. All right guys, I am back and the makeup's all done. And I've actually had this on for a bit now. Um, didn't come straight back to filming after I finished. Just kind of like let um, everything sit settle in. Overall, I'm really not mad at this powder. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It looks nice. I really hope you guys can't hear my neighbor's kids in the background. They're outside having fun. Adulthood now's come. You better get on for your mind. Got to hustle, make a living. Nobody go ask you if you done job. Nobody go send you free money. If you no get now, you shall be adulthood now's come. I'm not a singer, I don't have to sing, but there's lyrics. They touch me every time. Okay. So I've actually let my makeup sit for a bit, you know, just doing bits and bobs around the house, doing TikToks, you know, just chilling. The first things first, the color of this powder is absolutely delicious. It is such a great color if for brightening your under eyes, if you're someone who's my skin tone or darker. Not like too yellow where it makes your eye, under eyes look too bright. It really does give you like a translucent feel to it. Like it did what it was supposed to do in terms of like the color that the, the color is absolutely great. It is very finely milled like I was saying before when you put it on you can um almost see it as like you can almost see like the little particles on your face settling on hairs on your face or something like if you looked really closely you could but obviously once you've dusted dusted off all that excess powder and applied some setting spray you're good to go and it looks flawless it has stayed in place and also photographs really nicely i'll have some photos of me with this makeup with like flash no flash sunlight so you guys can see like kind of what i'm talking about but i do think it photographs really nicely i wouldn't be able to like photograph in natural light so far but i really like it Oh my god! Wow! It's one of those powders that if you did use it to bake your face, like you would definitely would like be able to get away with it. It's very finely milled. 
it is a joy to work with you guys already know i'm crazy about this packaging this packaging is a game changer and i cannot like i am hyped i feel like every brand every makeup brand needs to get on this now this is this has to be the new standard this has to be the new norm this has to be the new normal like let's stop with the other stuff right like that stuff has been good that stuff has served us for a while but Emma beauty has unlocked something here and we should we should all just jump on it like let's let's all just jump on this packaging this packaging is worth being like i don't know if Emma beauty has trademarked this packaging if they haven't you know the brands should go for it but if they have then you know sorry guys but honestly the packaging it's it's i can't explain how excited i was when i saw it when i saw it launch and to see it in real life the concept of it is so important but obviously if it's not done properly then it's not going to make a difference but the concept behind the packaging is one that i'm absolutely here for you know it definitely will help to minimize waste if used correctly and there are no faults in the packaging itself but um apart from that i think my only con with this is the price point the price point the price point for 10 grams 26 pound is a bit steep um and obviously like i told you guys before comparing it to the laura mercier it's almost double the price of the laura mercier powder like per gram i'm still yet to decide if i like this more than my laura mercier powder to be honest but so far i like it so i don't know about the price point the price point is is giving luxury brand it kind of comes down to you guys personally it's not going to be something i'm going to be reaching for every day mainly because of the price point but it is good and i think i would use it especially when i know that i might there's a chance of flash photography but yeah that is all i have to say for the over beauty trip and smooth powder don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if this video is used to you and while you're here just click on the next video that comes up and watch that too because it's probably going to be useful to you as well at least entertaining at the very least you know i try <laughs> anyways we're joking guys i'll speak to you guys another time ciao